Our planet has witnessed a rich tapestry of life, going all the way back to the microscopic organisms that emerged 3.7 billion years ago. Skip forward by a little 2 billion 900 million years, and we get the first animals. Now at one point it was thought that sponges were the first animals, but further research suggests it was probably soft-bodied jellyfish-like creatures that sprung up about 800 million years ago. Now the jellies and the sponges are all well and good, but if we fast forward a little more, we get the Ediacaran period. 635 million years ago, which saw a diverse array of organisms, the first complex multicellular organisms coexisting with the jellies and the sponges for 100 million years. However, the real excitement began 541 million years ago with the Cambrian explosion. This rapid period of speciation introduced trilobites, Opabinia, Hallucigania, and many other fascinating organisms, marking the start of the Paleozoic era. Sadly, this era ended with a catastrophic mass extinction, eradicating 90% of marine life and 70% of terrestrial life. And then, the Mesozoic era unfolded. The dominant rulers of this prehistoric world were the magnificent dinosaurs. These powerful reptiles roamed the earth for millions of years, their colossal size and awe-inspiring diversity capturing our imaginations. However, lurking in the shadows of the Mesozoic era, a group of small, shrew-like creatures emerged, the mammals. While overshadowed by the towering dinosaurs, these early mammals were quietly evolving and adapting to various niches and honing their survival skills. Then, 66 million years ago, a cataclysmic event occurred. A colossal asteroid impact unleashed chaos, causing mass extinctions and forever altering the course of life on Earth. The reign of the dinosaurs abruptly came to an end, and an opportunity arose for the mammals to seize the spotlight. Now, it was our turn, and the Cenozoic era began. Mammals multiplied and spread across the globe, occupying different habitats, such as forests, grassland, and even aquatic environments. Over time, mammals underwent further evolution and diversification, giving rise to various groups and species, from the tiniest of bats to the largest animal of all time, the blue whale. But there's a problem. We are currently going through another mass extinction, the sixth mass extinction, and this time, it's driven by human activity. Now of course, it's not just the class mammalia that are in trouble, but if we want to fit this into one video, we need to narrow it down a bit. So, in this video, we are going to focus in and talk about 10 of the rarest mammals. For this, I've teamed up with the fine people from Life Trading Card Game. Not only have they generously sponsored this video, but they have also shared their research, information and ideas about rare mammals that really helped with making this video. Now they have a very cool trading card game where each card has a different mammal with excellent artwork and facts about said mammal. They even have special first edition holographic cards that are printed in exactly the same volume as the estimated population of the animal in the wild. For example, there are an estimated 100 Amur leopards in the wild. Therefore, they only print 100 holographic Amur leopards, etc. As cool as that is, my favorite thing about them is that 20% of all profits will be going to charity. If you want to get yourself a box of these very awesome trading cards, make sure to use the promo code WILDWORLD, all one word, all caps, no spaces, to get 10% off your first order. Pre-orders are available from now until September 3rd. I want to talk a little more about the cards in a moment, but first let's look at some rare mammals, and why they are so rare. Quick disclaimer, sometimes it's difficult to get the exact population of some mammals and we have to use estimates, especially when they are rare or spend most of their time underground, like number 10 on the list, the Vancouver Island Marmot. This adorable rodent is endemic to Vancouver Island in Canada and is one of the most endangered mammals in North America, with only an estimated 300 left. They are actually considered to be somewhat large compared to other marmots, weighing about 15 pounds or 6.8 kilos. Disease outbreaks, climate change, and chance may have been contributing factors to these little guys' decline. Moving on to number 9, we have the brown-headed spider monkey. 
found in the lush rainforests of Central and South America. These acrobatic primates are known for their long limbs and exceptional climbing abilities. Despite the fact that they don't have opposable thumbs, unfortunately, habitat destruction, as well as hunting, have driven them to the brink of extinction. In just the last 45 years, the number of brown-headed spider monkeys has decreased by over 80%. The remaining populations are small and fragmented. It's not just that they are cool animals, they are, but they also play a vital role in their habitat as they disperse seeds as they travel through the forest and contribute to biodiversity. Their population currently sits at about 250. I was actually lucky enough to get a brown-headed spider monkey in one of my packs. I have to say it is pretty fun opening up a new pack and seeing what cards you get. It sort of reminds me of opening up a new packet of Pokemon cards when I was a kid, except I'm a little biased, but I do think that real animals are a little cooler. But then again, I just really like wildlife. It's also a nice dopamine hit when you manage to get your hands on one of the rare and shiny holographic cards. It is a trading card game, so you can trade cards, of course, if you want, but I think I just want to collect them all. Maybe I trade duplicates. Anyway, moving on, our next mammal is something I think a lot of cryptid fans will be a fan of, as it was only discovered relatively recently. The Saula, also known as the Asian Unicorn, was discovered in May of 1992 during a joint survey carried out by the Ministry of Forestry of Vietnam and WWF in North Central Vietnam. The find proved to be the first large mammal new to science in more than 50 years, but Due to habitat loss and hunting, spoilers, that's going to come up a lot, conservationists are very concerned about this rare animal. We don't really know how many are left, but it's been estimated to be about 100. Next, we are going to look at a rare species of bat. Actually, the rarest species of bat. The Seychelles sheath-tailed bat. As the name suggests, it is endemic to the Seychelles. It used to be abundant across the island group, but now it only occurs on three of the islands with an estimated population of about 100. Why? Well, it seems the cultivation of coconut palms and plantations, as well as the introduction of alien plant species, have reduced the availability for these insectivores to get insects to eat. These bats are the smallest fellas on the list, weighing about 0.03 pounds, or 0.01 kilos. But next, we are going to look at the biggest mammal on this list. Diving deeper into the ocean, we reach number six on our list, the Gervais beaked whale. These magnificent creatures are known for their elongated beaks, and they can reach lengths of about 15 to 17 feet and weigh about 3,000 pounds, or 1,360 kilos. Despite being the largest mammal on this list, not that much is known about these animals. They do have many threats to deal with though. They have gotten entangled in fishing gear off the US Atlantic coast, they are sometimes captured in the Caribbean Sea for food, and ocean noise created by people interrupts their normal behavior and may be driving them away from areas important to their survival. Like I said, not too much is known about this species, but there are an estimated 100 left. Climbing up to number 5, we have the pygmy sloth. As the smallest and slowest sloth species, in fact, they are the world's slowest mammal, these gentle creatures are found exclusively on Isla Escudo de Viraguas in Panama. Deforestation and habitat degradation have severely impacted their population. The pygmy sloths are most commonly found inhabiting and feeding from red mangrove thickets, but these trees are often logged and now only constitute 0.024% of the total island area. It is estimated that less than 100 exist today. Reaching the top half of our countdown, we encounter number four, the Amur leopard. With its stunning rosette patterns and captivating grace, the Amur leopard is the most critically endangered big cat in the world. Found in the Russian Far East and Northeast China, their population has been decimated due to poaching and, you guessed it, habitat loss. Less than 100 Amur leopards still exist. At number 3 we have the Wandawoi tree kangaroo. This tree-dwelling marsupial is endemic to the remote rainforests of the Wandawoi Peninsula. In Indonesia. Its unique adaptations, such as long curved claws and muscular hind legs, allow it to move effortlessly among the treetops. Now this animal is very special, as for a long time it was thought to be extinct. Seen in the forests of New Guinea only once in 1928, we didn't think there were any more around, but then we had a new sighting in 2018. Unfortunately, deforestation threatens their habitat and hunting has pushed them to the brink of extinction. I really hope this animal gets to remain extant, but there are only 50 of them left. Coming in at number two, we have the Hainan gibbon, endemic to Hainan Island in China. 
This gibbon species is the rarest primate on the planet, with only around 30 individuals remaining. Again, habitat loss is the primary cause of the decline, with 25% of the Hainan gibbon's habitat reduced due to illegal pulp paper plantation growers. Logging has also driven them to less suitable habitats. This species is so vulnerable that conservationists are worried that an epidemic or a single major storm could wipe them out. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the rarest mammal on our list, grabbing the number one spot, is the vaquita. Living exclusively in the northern gulf of California, the small porpoise has become the most endangered marine mammal in the world, with some estimates claiming that there are fewer than 10 individuals remaining. Fewer than 10. I have no idea how they are able to hold on. They weren't even discovered until 1958, and now we are on the brink of losing them forever. The problem is they get caught as bycatch in gill nets, and something really needs to be done about it. According to WWF, one in five get caught in nets. I don't know how they're able to cling on. Now, I realize this isn't the most uplifting video, and these topics are kind of sad, but perhaps they don't have to be. When I was a kid, I learned a definition of extinct versus endangered that really stuck with me. Extinct means gone forever, endangered means we still have time. And we do have time. Now, it's not easy, but it has been done before, and there are causes we can support to help conservation. And one group, of course, is the live trading card game. Like I said, a nice 20% of all profits go to charity. But also, you get a box of cards with cool mammal artwork as well as facts about the animal, including how many of them are left. This could be a great gift idea for any animal lovers you know if you want to help raise awareness, or for yourself, or for both. And with the discount code WILDWORLD, you can get 10% off your first order. And maybe you might even get one of the rare holographic cards, or even THE rarest holographic card, which isn't the Vaquita, it's Earth the magnificent rock that harbors all our unique life. And, just like in real life, there is only one.